Hey guys, how's it going? Today I want to do a quick video on how to install uh, the OpenVSP Python API. Uh, this should be a pretty quick video as uh, I'm not going to build it from source. I'm just going to download and install the API. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is go to the download OpenVSP portal and download the version you want to run, either 3.6 or 3.9. I like to be on the most up-to-date Python and use 3.9. The other thing you're going to want to have installed, and I really, really, really recommend this just because of how often OpenBSP is releasing new uh, downloads, is download Anaconda, a Python package manager. Now what Anaconda allows you to do is have multiple versions of Python as well as different modules installed. So I use this uh, to manage all my OpenBSP distributables. Uh, so after you've downloaded it, uh, both the OpenBSP exe and uh, anaconda your powershell so should look something like this it should tell you uh, off to the left of the directory either base or whatever environment you have running if you want to see all your environments you can type conda uh, list it should tell you everything you have running so i've already previously installed uh, vsp 330 uh, and so you can see i have a separate python uh, distributable there um, okay, so anyways, after you have Anaconda and you've downloaded the distributable, uh, you want to go into the OpenVSP downloaded folder uh, and then go into Python. Okay, so after you've navigated to this folder, you're going to want to open up the environmental YAML folder. And this is what Conda is going to run in order to install Python as well as any other modules. So here we can see that it's actually calling Python 3.7. So this is a typo that I found in, uh, in the source. So if you download, for example, this OpenVSP 3.9, then you have to go into this environment YAML folder and change this Python version to 3.9 so that it works with the API. Um, and then after you've done that, you can save this uh, file. Uh, now what's going to happen is it's going to create this, uh, Conda will create this environment, VSP PyTools, and then you'll be able to run the OpenVSP API from there. So save that. Go over to the folder. Uh, I'm going to CD over this. So CD into that Python folder. And then here you can just run the setup PS1 folder. This is a PowerShell script. It's going to run. Uh, you might get this error. Um, and if you do, uh, it's pretty easy to fix. You can just hit run once. And it'll go ahead and run the executable anyway. Great, so once that's finished installing, you want to just take a look that it's successfully completed and you'll have a new uh, Anaconda environment here. We can see it's called VSP PyTools. Um, and then to double check that everything is working, you just want to invoke Python. You'll see that we have a Python 3.9 version installed in this environment. And uh, we can try to import OpenVSP. And if that returns with no errors, then you've successfully installed the API, just like that. Uh, and what's interesting now is because we installed it in this uh, Conda Environment Manager, we can now see all our environments. Base VSP 330 is the old one I had, and now the new one is VSP PyTools. And so you can go ahead and Google how to rename these Anaconda environments. Um, but that way, if there's a new OpenVSP version that comes out, you can just simply download the distributable, install it, and create a new environment. And uh, you can keep all of the various APIs that come about in the future. Um, okay, that's it for this video. See you in the next one.